Hello, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted. And I'm Mallory Stanley. Finally back with us. Uh, today we're going to be going over step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the 6006 candle making kit from Stanley Handcrafted. Uh, now, if you don't have one of these kits, we do sell them. I've got the link to the kit on the, uh, the video description down below to the website. Uh, if you don't want to buy one of the kits, you can still follow along uh, because the kit or the uh, the demonstration is basically going to be the same for all 6006. So if you have similar items like the uh, the tins and everything like this, this tutorial will still help you with that same wax. Uh, so we're going to have uh, Mallory. I'm going to have her go through and kind of go over the uh, the basics of it, and I'm going to go ahead and film her. We'll kind of go back and forth, and I'm going to show you exactly what to do uh, with your new kit. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go over the kit real quick. Uh, the candle making kit comes with the pitcher right there. It comes with three stacks of uh, 6006 wax in individual blocks, just like this, uh, just for easy application. Every single kit is going to come labeled A through C, and every single package comes with uh, four tins. You've got two eight ounce tins, two six ounce tins. Uh, we've got wooden wicks and cotton wicks, just to give you uh, an idea of what both of them burn like. Uh, we've got tabs so that you can stick them to the uh, bottom of the tins. We've got warning labels, and then we've also got uh, wick holders to keep them in place, and a fragrance of your choice. And then every single one of these packages is exactly the same uh, with a different fragrance of your choice. And of course, a thermometer and then a stirring utensil. So we're gonna go ahead and grab package A. We're gonna jump right into this. All right, the first thing you wanna do is get a small saucepan and probably put maybe an inch or two of water in there just, to, just so that the uh, pitcher can fit in there. And we're gonna go ahead and turn this on to about medium heat. I put it right about on six. You want it to heat up, but you don't want it to get too hot. So I usually put it to a medium or just a little above medium so that the wax can uh, can melt down uh, kind of slowly. And Mallory just made a good point. I don't put this completely on the center just because when we put the pitcher in here, I like to put the pitcher off to the side and that way the handle stays away from the flame so it doesn't get really hot on you. So I move it off center just a little bit so that it heats up the water, but it's not gonna heat up the outside of this pitcher too much. All right, so my little assistant here is gonna go ahead and we've got the A packages out. Uh, it includes the wax, the tins, and then of course the fragrance oil, the stickers, the wicks, and everything else. And then of course you've also got your utensils, which this one of course will be used to stir the wax, and then the thermometer, and then Malibu. You wanna go ahead and open up that. We have a life hack here. Put the wicks in, you put it through here, so then you could like dip it in the jar. That we'll show you sense. that here in a second. Okay, so go ahead and grab the wax package A, and let's go ahead and fill up that little pitcher there. And you can put these in uh, a few at a time if you want to, or you can put the whole thing in there, just uh, depending on how you want to melt it down. But for this first batch, we're going to go ahead and use every single one of those blocks. Yep. Yeah, you can just lay it on top too. Perfect. And let's go ahead and put that over into the double boiler. And then we're just gonna go ahead and let that sit. Scared me. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and let that sit. And while that's melting, uh, we're going to come back here and we're going to grab uh, the A10 package. And you've got two 6 ounce and two 8 ounce. And then go ahead and open up the other package A. And for this one, we're going to go ahead and grab, just go ahead and pull everything out of there. Oh, I lost that. And then go ahead and grab those warning stickers. And we're gonna go ahead and take a sticker and put it. Uh, now for these, uh, go ahead and open the lids, baby girl. So for this one, you can either put the stickers on the underside of the lid right there, or if you want to, you can put it on the bottom. So you go ahead and put those wherever you want to. Perfect. 
like you've done this before. No, I haven't. <laughs> you've done it multiple times. It's so easy, a beginner can do it. <laughs> Good sell. Okay, and then go ahead and flip all those back over and take the lids off. And then for the two smaller six ounce tins, we're going to use the cotton wicks. And the, what Mallory's doing here is the casing for the thermometer can also be used uh, to put the wicks through and stabilize those. So you hold the one side and then you just drop it in there like that. So go ahead and grab the wick tabs right there. And then you're going to peel these off and stick it to the underside of the wick. Nope. <laughs> stick it to the wick. That way you can place it better. And then go ahead and peel that tab. And then go ahead and place it directly in the center there. And then just give it a little press. Good job. And there's your wick. And then go ahead and place that other one. That, it would be hard. What's that? If you did it without this, then it would be hard to put in. So yeah, if wrap. you don't have the thermometer casing, you can also use like a ballpoint pin casing. That's normally what I use. Nope. <laughs> nice job. Okay, and then for the wooden wicks, uh, you're gonna go ahead and grab those metal tabs and just go ahead and place it on the, go ahead and place it down here. It's easier. Yeah, go ahead and place it right there. And then, yeah, there you go. And the wooden wicks are even easier because they stand up straight. Uh, you don't need anything to kind of guide those in. And then we'll go ahead and grab the other two stick tabs. I it like burns. The stick tab is showing at the bottom. There. Well, the stick tab won't really burn because the flame will never get down that far. Uh, if you don't want to use stick tabs, you can also use hot glue and then you can also use construction grade adhesive. Uh, the adhesive is my favorite one. It stands up to temperatures uh, about 400 degrees, which is much hotter than the candle will ever get. And that adhesive is not going anywhere. So if your candle gets really hot, uh, sometimes hot glue can separate and that construction adhesive is not going anywhere. All right, perfect, baby girl. Now go ahead and grab the popsicle sticks, the wick holders. And the reason I like to use the popsicle sticks uh, or the converted ones, they hold it really well. And then sometimes the metal ones can scratch the tins. And these actually stood up pretty well. They're directly in the center. If they don't get directly in the center, uh, you can fold the wick over and use some scotch tape to tape it down to the side and you'll get a little bit better uh, placement on those. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and wait for that wax to cool down and then we'll pour here in a second. Okay, you can see that wax is almost melted. And then once that's fully melted, we're gonna go ahead and get that wax all the way up to 180 degrees. And uh, we'll have Mallory test that here in a second. How do we stir it? Just go ahead and drop that in there, give it a little stir just to get that wax moving around a little bit. It's almost melted and we'll check the temperature. Okay, so the wax is fully melted. Malibu's gonna go ahead and test the temperature on this thing. Uh, yeah, there you go, flip it around. Can't even see. There we go. Alright, so as soon as that gets up to temperature... <laughs> that's not working too well. Alright, what does that say, baby girl? 180. Okay, so that's perfect. Right about the point that wax gets fully melted, it's going to be at about 180 degrees anyways, and that's what you want to do with the wax. You want to get it all the way up to 180, uh, that way the wax is fully opened up because uh, you want the wax fully melted 100% uh, 
so that the oil can bind to it properly. So uh, we're going to go ahead and grab a hot pad and I'm going to go ahead and grab this for her. And we're going to go ahead and pull this over here. And we're going to let this cool down to 160 degrees. Uh, and Mallory's going to go ahead and keep stirring occasionally just as it cools down to 160 degrees. Uh, you just want to make sure that the sides don't start to, to solidify on you. And 180 to 160, it's not going to solidify on you. But we're just going to go ahead and keep stirring it just to make sure that it stays fully melted. And then once the wax hits 160 degrees, we're going to go ahead and add our fragrance oil. Uh, with 6006, you can go ahead and add the oil at any point between 180 and 155. Uh, I like to add it a little bit cooler just because cooling from 180 degrees to 170 degrees is going to take probably 5 to 10 minutes and that's just 5 to 10 minutes where it's just burning off the fragrance oil. So I like to wait down to about 160 uh, just because you still get the wax fully melted and you're saving yourself some burn off time with that fragrance oil. All right, so Mallory's gonna go ahead and test the temperature on this. You can't see it too well on here, but that's right above 160. We just tested a second ago. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pull that. Okay, do you wanna add your fragrance oil? All right, so go ahead and open that up, and then you're gonna stir as you pour, as you add that. So grab the spatula, and you're gonna stir and add the oil. Good job. And then we're gonna go ahead and stir that for about a minute. Uh, you don't really need much more than that, just you wanna make sure that the oil and the wax kinda bind properly, it mixes all together. and then stir back around the opposite direction. There you go. Just so that it gets nice and mixed up. And each of this, these kits, the, the A package, B package, and C package, all come with uh, a, approximately 1.3 ounces of fragrance oil. The 6006 holds 10%, uh, which this is a little bit over. Uh, the 6006 holds about 10%. I go a little bit lower with my fragrance oil. We do about 1.3 in this one. Uh, just because usually 10%, you're right at the border of getting the wax uh, and the oil to seep out. Uh, so you definitely want to play with different oils. Sometimes it can hold the 1.6. Uh, sometimes the 1.3 is all it can hold. So the 1.3 is what we put in the kits just because it's, a, uh, it's almost a perfect amount every time. Okay, so that's good and stirred up, and then Mallory's going to go ahead and pick that up and pour it into these eight ounces first, and she's going to go to the underside of that ring right there, and you're going to do that for all four. Perfect. And then of course you can pour these. It doesn't matter if they're exactly even because you're gonna have some wax left over after pouring all these that you can go back through and kind of even them out. I only ever take that one. See, and you can see that that wick right there is a little bit off. So we're gonna go ahead and tape it once we pour. That's the nice thing about these is once you pour, you can center those and we're gonna tape it down just like that. And then go ahead and, yeah, go ahead and fill those up some more. And you can see the wax is already starting to cool a little bit. So that's perfect. Once that starts to cool like that, it's actually starting to lock in that fragrance and not let it off as much. And then you can go ahead and fill those up a little bit more, baby girl. There you go.
Okay, and you probably will end up with a little bit extra wax. Uh, if you do have extra wax, you can go ahead and pour them into any kind of uh, container. Uh, I like to pour them into these wax shot cups and you can kind of make your own little melts. Uh, if you don't have any of these shot cups, you can pour them into silicone molds, pretty much anything that you want. Okay, so that you, you can see this wick right here. We could probably leave this one, but I'm gonna show you anyways. Uh, now I'm just gonna grab some scotch tape and what you're gonna wanna do is just pull that wick a little tight, fold it over, and then go ahead and tape it down and that'll stabilize it and keep it in the center. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and let these cool and then we're gonna go through and then I'm gonna show you how to clean this stuff up for the next set. Now you can see the pitcher still has some leftover wax. Uh, one of the reasons I like to pour a little bit hotter is once you get done pouring these things, you can grab some paper towels and just wipe that out completely. Uh, if you don't want to wipe that out, that's use, that's a little bit more wax uh, than I normally have in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the double boiler and we're going to let that heat up and let that wax fully melt again uh, just because it's easier to wipe out. Yeah. And then for the uh, spatula right here, the easiest way to do this, this one will just wipe right down. Just go ahead and wipe that excess wax completely off. And then once you're done with that one and there's no wax on that, you can just use hot soapy water and uh, clean the rest of that off. Okay, this thing is fully melted now. There's still a little bit of wax in there. Uh, if you do have excess, just go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and pour it into this just because I have it handy. And then once you get it completely done, just go ahead and wipe it out with paper towels. And then again, once this is completely cleaned out we'll just go ahead and i'm going to run hot soapy water through this just to make sure that the wax and the scent is out of there all right so now that everything is cleaned up and the candles are cooling uh, we can go ahead and move on to kit b and c and basically just start the video over and it will be the exact same steps for the next two okay so we've got these things done uh, now you can see in the top of this one here you can see a little bit of these air bubbles right there. Uh, you can fix that by running, if you don't have a heat gun, a heat gun is the best thing to run over that. Uh, if you don't have a heat gun, you can use a hair dryer, but you wanna be careful with the hair dryer because uh, it, it blows the hot air really fast. So you wanna hold it away from the candle uh, and then just kind of let it hit until those air bubbles go away. And you can also avoid getting those air bubbles by pouring a little bit hotter. So we're gonna go ahead and take these wicks off and then we're going to go ahead and cut these down. Now these candles aren't 100% cool, but that's going to be okay. Follow me over here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and... You can see that wax is still... Probably should wait a little bit, but I'm just going to go ahead and cut these down. And you want to cut the wooden wicks and the cotton wicks right about uh, a quarter of an inch. Now, is that focused? And that's... Alright, and that's pretty much it. That lid is filthy. Alright, and there you have it. You've got two 8-ounce candles and two 6-ounce candles. All right, so that's pretty much it. That is step by step uh, on how to do everything inside the kit. And we only showed you one of the packages just because the A package, B package, and C package are exactly the same. You're just gonna restart the video and go through and redo those exact same steps for the rest of the, uh, the numbers that are in there. Uh, how easy was that? Easy, even I could do it. <laughs> <laughs> So that's pretty much it. Uh, if we glossed over anything, or I'm hoping I caught everything, if, uh, if I didn't go into enough detail, please ask in the questions uh, down below in the comments. I answer every single one of them. Uh, you can also get in touch with me uh, through the uh, website, stanleyhandcrafted.com. Uh, we do have the Facebook uh, uh, group, and I'll go ahead and post the link down to that in the, uh, the video description down below. Uh, and then of course you can get in touch with us through Instagram, Snapchat, uh, Facebook, the website, pretty much anything like that. 
if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to go ahead and purchase one of these kits, we have the link in the video description down below. So go ahead and buy one of the kits and then come back and watch the video again. And uh, thank you for watching.